my name is uh, Dr. Temi Mutia. I'm the one in charge of value chains and the value addition uh, in the county government of Kitui under the office of the governor. And uh, what Our Excellency Governor Charity Kaluki Gilu is trying to do is to see various value chains which can be moved from the market backwards all the way to the farmer and then uh, look at areas where we can add value so that we can get our products, produce, various produce into the market. And what we have realized is that in Kitui we've got a lot of wealth, various products like uh, honey, like um, uh, mango, like chicken, where we don't have any value. And so we are always uh, selling uh, in their raw form. So today we have started an initiative which is going to cover the whole county and the target is the uh, mango farmers because we have got a lot of mango farmers who have grown and they grafted their mango but they always sell them unprocessed they always sell them uh, you know in their raw form so because of this now we this place in Zeloni we've got uh, close to uh, 500 serious mango farmers today's workshop is attended by uh, slightly over 300 members uh, majority have got more than uh, 20 um, mango trees we've got some with as many as 5,000 mango trees and there are the challenges they have been facing and then today we have introduced the Mwingi West Farmers Cooperative Society which is going to be the aggregation center uh, to float this um, uh, towards the market but then we also have opportunities for exporting our mango to Germany the Germans are interested in mango flakes, uh, dried mango, and we are looking at the possibilities of now these mango, once they are grown, they can be solar dried and then exported to Germany, but also to those who are health conscious, who are interested in uh, feeding well, instead of just eating crisps and other you know, non-nutritional uh, you know, uh, flakes, they are interested in mango flakes. And the idea is, we want to add value to our mango, we want to pack them nicely, we want to give Kenyans an opportunity, those who are health conscious, an opportunity to have uh, mango flakes, which are solar dried. All mango normally mature and they ripen at the same time. And this is normally around January, December, January, latest February. And they all, uh, uh, you know, ripen at the same time. So through this value addition, we are thinking you know, now we can put, and we are going to put solar dryers, so that now we can slice them into small flakes and then solar dry them and pack them. And that way they can last even for up to two years without going to waste. Secondly, when they are solar dried, a lot of uh, those other uh, pests that may have been infected there, they, they don't, don't, don't come out. So these mango flakes can be sold anywhere. And then we are looking at a way of getting a brand for Mwingi West and also for the whole county so that our mangoes can be sold in a different form. And added value. Mango Jews, we are keen to support Makwene under the SECEP, the Southeastern Kenya Economic Block. So the very fresh ones, the grade one, we will sell them unprocessed. The rest we will sell to Ma, we want our farmers to sell to Makwene because of the economic block. But then we also want a certain percentage to be solar dried. Between mango, the focus is not going to be on juice, it is going to be on dried mango flakes.